Well, hey guys, Dave here. Uh, it's Wednesday, February the 22nd. It's about 89 degrees here. You know, climate change is so fake. But today I wanted to talk about, I live in Texas. And unfortunately here in Texas, we have a crippled governor piece of shit named Greg Abbott. And this is another reason why I'm an atheist. Because if there was a God, why didn't you kill him when you made that stupid ass tree fall on his ass? Should have made it land on his goddamn stupid head. But anyway, I'm making this video because I want to point out the hypocrisy of two governors. First, Greg Abbott. And then secondly, Ron DeSantis. But first, let's talk about Greg Abbott. So, you know, I know there's all these people on the right that, ooh, you know, Greg Abbott, he's been doing the same crap. You know, he's been copying Ron DeSantis and he's been, you know, putting migrants on buses and sending them up north. Whatever. I don't really care. But the thing that I think is funny is it came out today in the news that you can't tell it now, but uh, last month we had a pretty big ice storm here in Texas. So... Greg Abbott announced that he's going to ask President Biden for a federal disaster claim so that Texas can get federal dollars. And I know that Biden is president of the entire United States, and I know he's going to do it. But I kind of wish that he wouldn't. And I live in Texas. It didn't affect me, but... I just wanted to point out the hypocrisy of Greg Abbott. He's the first one to talk about, you know, blue states and socialism and all this crap. But anytime there's any type of weather related incident, these red state governors who are so against socialism run, jump on their knees and kiss the ring of Biden. Just like last year when Ron DeSantis had that hurricane and he's walking around in his queer ass white boots. You know, he sure was kissing Biden's ass because they want those federal dollars. You understand that? Federal dollars. Isn't that socialism? You know, I thought these red states, one I live in, we're ran so great because we have these great red state governors. Greg Abbott, crippled bastard. You know, he runs this state's so good why does he need federal dollars why don't we just use the money out of our coffers oh well we can't use that money because we had to put uh migrants on buses and spent like 20 million dollars to ship them to chicago and new york shit i forgot about that so now he needs to suck biden's dick and get money for the ice storm these republican governors you know, I swear to God, this is one reason I quit voting. Because, like, the average American is so retarded. Like, they listen to Abbott talk about his buzzwords, socialism, border, blah, blah, blah. And then they cheer his name. He's our, he's our governor. He takes care of us. We're a red state. We're in control. And then as soon as anything happens, oh, uh, Mr. Biden, please, sir, can I have some federal dollars? Because we had a little ice in Texas, and uh, we need that money. If I was Biden, but I know Biden's not going to do it, I would tell him to go fuck himself. i tell him and Ron. And I'm telling you, mark my words, this year is going to be a bad hurricane year. And I hope Florida, and I hope Texas too, because we live here, I hope we get smashed by hurricanes. And I hope billions get spent because I'm going to laugh my ass off when these freaking two go hat in hand to Dark Brandon begging for nickels and dimes because, you know, it's socialism. Whatever. Fucking idiots. And then the other thing I wanted to talk about is I just wanted to mention briefly. I'm sure that you heard about this rancher in Arizona um, who supposedly killed a migrant and now he's in trouble he's million dollars bond he's in jail and i hear everybody's like you know he defended his property he defended his property and i want to say one thing if he defended his property and his life was in danger 
then I think he did the right thing. But the problem is, is you can go on to Amazon and find a book written by a man of the same name who talks about his wife, who has the same name as his wife in real life. And this book is about living on the border and battling the cartels. So I'm not a lawyer, but if I was a lawyer and I was a prosecuting attorney, I would definitely go to Amazon and buy that book and I would use it as premeditation in a capital murder trial against this dude. Because if he wrote a book and then went out and tried to live his fantasies out there on the border, then I hope he dies in prison. But we'll find out. But yeah, it's crazy. Oh, and, I, and there's one last thing that I want to talk about real quick. You know, everybody's having a shit fit over Ohio, blah, blah, blah. Remember when Trump was president and every week was infrastructure week? Do you Republicans now realize how important it is to take care of America's crumbling infrastructure? You know, Biden wanted to create Build Back Better and all you Republicans shit all over it. But now, all you Republicans cry every day. I hear it every day. Another train derailed. A bridge fell down. A, a factory burnt down. That's infrastructure, you goddamn idiots. Biden, build back better. Do you know what that means? He wants to improve our infrastructure. It's only political. You don't give a shit about those fuckers in Ohio. All you care about is political brownie points. So... The people in Ohio, that was a very red district. You voted for Trump. Well, Trump had infrastructure week every damn week. Every, every time stupid Sarah Huckabee Sanders with her fat face walked out there, all she ever said was, uh, it's infrastructure week, and they didn't do shit. Did he create a plan to fix America's infrastructure? No, Biden did with Build Back Better, but no, you guys just, oh, that's a Green New Deal. We can't do that. So now everything's fucking exploding and falling off the rail tracks. Congratulations. You got what you wanted. The destruction of the United States, patriots.